Coach, I know you're really excited about these next two. We've got someone I've had the pleasure of doing a little bit of training with at Tartarus MMA, Mr. Zach Wilds. Zach Wilds. I don't think there's any other way to say it. He's just one of the coolest guys in the sport. Yeah, he really is. Zach is a great black belt. And not only that, he's just a great guy. I love watching Zach compete. Every time he's out there, I'm going to be watching. I've been a fan of him for years. I've always been a fan of that gym. They have the best attitude. They truly love the sport. They're students of the game. Absolutely. They know their stuff. Zach will deceive you. Like, you'll you look at Zach. Well, I mean, look at his physique. It's and you'll deceiving underestimate him. And I have seen Zach compete against some of the best of the best, come out on top almost every time. Oh, yeah. Mo I mean, multiple-time Naga winner, uh, several different medals across a few different tournaments. And Zach's just always laid back. He's oh, always fun. Yes. Always having oh, cool. a good time. Yeah. Even on fight night. He'll you probably see, be in here joking with his opponent while they're rolling. You see it gets to some guys, but Zach's been here, done that for so long. Absolutely. And he's fighting a Valhalla Academy student, Cody Stakely. And these guys are the real deal. I'm really interested in this matchup. The dude's an absolute tank. Yeah, I can see that he is coming a out. Very large man. However, I will say this will be not Zach's biggest opponent, believe that or not. Yeah, Zach's last MMA fight was against an absolute monster. I don't know, this dude's a big old fella though. I think he might have to have Zach's last opponent beat in terms of athleticism. Athleticism, yeah, ab absolutely. And for this grappling match, we have EBI rules, no gi, heavyweight, 265 pounds. One round, 10 minutes plus OT. We have grappling out of the blue corner. Representing Tataris MMA out of Ashland, Kentucky, Zach Wilds. His grappling opponent out of the red corner, representing Valhalla AJJ out of Frankfort, Kentucky, Cody Stakely. Cody Stakely getting a big ovation and from the crowd here. To tell you about Valhalla's style, it's you know it's similar to Tartarus. It's an old school jiu-jitsu gym. Carlson Gracie lineage. So heavy top game. Crush, crush, crush. You know, it, I think both these guys are gonna be looking to get on top here. And we were talking about patience earlier, Elijah. Zach's got incredible patience in this game. It this comes, entire it comes room with so long. Just of, got so quiet when this match began. You can tell there's something different about this one here. Mm -hmm. These are two high level black belt. Well, two high level guys here. I'm not sure about Stakely's rank, but I know if he's in there with Zach, that this has got to be a high level jiu jitsu match here and beautiful duck under. But Zach's wise to it. Nice arm that drag nice for Stakely, drag. and he oh, suplexes wow. Zach. That's it. Zach's hurt. Zach's, Zach's hurt. Zach's hurt. That's it. That's going to be the end of the match. He hurt, the sh shirt, hurt his shoulder there with that suplex, ladies and gentlemen. That's a terrible way to see it end. You know that's not what Stakely wanted there. Looks like he dislocated his shoulder here. And you can see the doc talking to Zach. Stakely still checking on him, making sure he's all right. That was just an absolutely brutal suplex. It was. You see the power of wrestling and good takedowns. Like, they can end a oh. fight before it starts. All right, let's give, a, let's give a round of applause for your winner, Mr. Cody Stakely. And you see there, look at the sportsmanship there yep. between these two making men. Making sure that's what he's I all right. Love. I love seeing that. Love seeing that.